Okay, let's see what we can do with this uh, Dungeons and Dragons 1 test on the model 43 teletype. And let's proceed. Okay, and we're going to run up the basic interpreter that we're actually using. Okay, and now we're going to load the Dungeons and Dragon basic. Okay, and okay, and now we're going to execute it on the teletype. Okay, and no instructions. It's going to be a new game. We're going to go for one. Probably set. Player's name, which is hard coded. Okay, we need to re-ink this ribbon, but it actually is running, which is fantastic. Okay, we're not going to purchase anything at the moment. Okay. Okay, we'll just give it a workout. We'll have a look around. paper as well will help. Okay, and now we wait. Okay, what's well, processing and this is a good start. stuck in a loop. Yeah, so we still have to do a little bit of debugging on the code. Okay. Yes, well up here you can see here is the Pi that we're actually using as our serial interface. And we have the VT420 connected. And we also have the Teletype connected. Uh, and we have a USB connection running up to the cloned Altair 8800, which we're running. Okay, and there we go. There's one of the other bugs that I still need to resolve. Okay, but we're getting there. Okay, I'm going to start listing the code. Okay, there's still quite a bit of work to be done, but today we've made some actual progress. 
and shortly we'll replace the ribbon in the teletype and then we'll do a little bit more debugging and at the moment I'm running it on my Altair clone um, but I've started porting it to the DEC basic plus software which is not quite as straightforward as I thought it was going to be because of the way the actual basic runs on the uh, deck. But this is starting to look good. Okay, we're just going to go. And there we go. There's a partial listing. Okay, well, uh, it's not a bad day's uh, work and um, we'll keep working on it. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, cheers.